Black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, what up, world? What is truly, authentically, genuinely good with y'all today? Obviously, I'm doing pretty well. Made myself some nice homemade buffalo chicken sandwiches. Now, I know the sauce isn't exactly buffalo, but we'll talk about that in this video. Uh, I would say before we do anything more, we must pour, but this is bad enough today. I'm keeping it to the ice water. We've been switching up to these ice waters lately. I just need to, I'm off the diet soda for a little bit here. Got to cleanse the system of that. And to be honest, the ice waters make it a lot easier. Now, usually I'd say to check that out during the pour up, but I'll say it now. If you'd like to save 10% on a coldest water order down below my link, code hoodie 10% saves you on checkout. That said, also thank you to those who have been shopping. Y'all been bigging it up in the shopping. So thank you so much. Hope you enjoy your product. Now let's get to my product. My beautiful buffalo chicken sandwich on toasted bread, not a bun, not a deep fried patty, ranch coleslaw. I want to try it, well then we'll talk about it. You guys, it's stupid. Very stupidly good. Juicy, saucy as all hell. Just how your guy likes it. The proof is in the fingers. I've learned that in this muck game, you take from the sides to keep you intrigued on this. Sorry, I just can't get over how beautiful it is. You know you want to sink your teeth into that. I certainly am going to. I cannot debate that this is any healthier than a deep fried breaded one because I fried the chicken in oil. So, you know, that's got to be bad. But I wanted to try it with like a golden crispy, just natural skin. And uh, I switched up the coleslaw with ranch. I figured I'd put ranch on it regardless, so I might as well mix it into the slaw. And just incorporate it into the sandwich that way. Y'all have no idea. out of control. As far as the sauce goes, I 
contrary to popular belief. I don't actually love buffalo sauce all that much. I find it to be very overwhelming. So instead I make a less hot version using buffalo sauce, ketchup, barbecue, touch of water, or pickling liquid. Sometimes that's a nice touch too. And I just do that, bring it down to, to this. Next thing you know, you're having a not too hot and steamy event in your mouth. would highly suggest trying these at home. So wet. So sloppy. So good. With two sandwiches of this stature, certainly didn't need any like fries or chips or whatever. This is plenty enough for me. That said though, I did have a little extra coleslaw left over that uh, I wanted to try on its own. Can y'all believe it? I've never ranched a slaw. See that? That's an indication. Of a delicious sandwich. All right, let's not waste any more time and uh, do what we came to do. Smash the food. Final round. I can certainly add this one. to the late night <clears throat> Cravers playlist. A sandwich like this just demands your utmost attention to try to keep it in check. Okay, say, obviously delicious, obviously amazing. Try it at home. Hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.